Today's episode is all about a brand from Shenzhen, China that started in 2019 and dropped their first pedals in 2020. They're really good. They are a budget line you need to know about. So hang out with me and learn all about them. Let's jump into this line. We can call it a budget line because the prices of these pedals are freakishly low. And let's get one thing out of the way. How do you say the name? Flama? Flama? Well, I'm from Alabama and it's pronounced Flama. That's how I remember this. So here we go with Flama. We're gonna start by stacking two pedals. We're gonna do that on every jam because there's a bunch of pedals. We're gonna do the delay. You've seen this on at least two live episodes so far. This is, as of now, my favorite budget delay pedal I've ever played. I can't believe I'm saying it. At $75, I would put this on a board so fast. Mode four is called, it's like, uh, what's it called? Ah! Uh, Mod Galaxy. Galaxy. Mod Galaxy. And to me, it feels like if a tape delay was best friends with a memory man and they hung out and they gained each other's skills and attributes. I love it. And then we have the drive. I have the box, that's strange. Do you, you guys know I have the box? No. He has the box. There's a sticker in the box, other stuff in the box. Look how tiny, look how small. Aww. Here's what I think is interesting about this. I think even myself would put the volume knob as the big knob. But I don't know if that's the best move because they made the overdrive knob the big knob. And I think I like it. I think I've been wrong. And I'm here to tell you that I think I've been wrong. So we're gonna do this. This is $29, is that correct? $29. That's a cup of coffee. And this is super cheap, 70 something. These are definitely budget pedals. We're gonna stack these, play something really emotional because honestly, this has wrecked my life that these are this cheap. Here we go. Wait, that mod is just called Galaxy, not Mod Galaxy. Whatever, it has mod, so we'll call it Mod Galaxy. Sometimes melody meets tone in a brand new way. It's good, $29. Did you hear when I kicked that on? It sounded like all the fears of my heart were audible. It's a really good pedal. Next up at $39. I call it the mini reverb. They just call it the reverb, but it's mini. So we're gonna call it the mini because there's a big one for later. Studio, church, and plate. I'm gonna use studio. And then we have the mod. First off, I wanna talk about this mod color. It's pretty bright and it harkens back to something I wanna show you. You don't have to follow me, you can follow me, whatever. <laughs> it reminds me of these DOD pedals. And let's be honest, this could sound like hot trash and I would love it because it fits. It fits the color scheme of this. What do we call this? What's this palette? What's it called? Cocaine? It's just a yeah, cocaine palette. My hair is long. My, hair is my long. pants are tight. My pants are tight. My music's loud. My colors are bright. I like that. Okay. So we're gonna jam. 
I'm gonna use the ring modulator setting on here. Now, let me clarify. Some people watching, the majority of people watching the show, I love you, but you're boring. Sick burn. And you wanna hear chorus. I don't wanna play chorus. There's chorus, flanger, tremolo, phaser, vibrato, rotary. It has a lot of stuff. I'm going straight to ring mod. Why? I don't wanna be boring. I wanna do something crazy. I wanna get out of the box. I wanna jump out of the box head first and hope there's water. That's what we're gonna do. Reverb, we're gonna play some kind of mushroom acid jazz blues riff. I don't know. We're gonna mess with the time signature. Honestly, we're just gonna do what we want because if we don't do what we want, we're gonna be miserable and I want us to be happy. And then I'll give you a little smorgasbord sampler. I'll rotate the knob. For $39, you get a bunch of modulations in a tiny pedal. Same thing, the verb's amazing. Here we go. Wait, don't you have the box for that green one? Oh my God. I do, hold on, stop everything. Yeah. I have the, do I have the box for this? Here's the box. There's stuff in the box. Look at that, sticker, manual. It's in Chinese, I can't read it, but I don't need to read it because it's simple. They're smart. Here we go, ready? Acid mushroom blues jazz. I'm gonna use the tape echo setting and set it kind of normal, kind of like a slap tape. This is a cool pedal, it has analog, um, it has a real echo setting and then the tape echo, really cool. And I'm gonna use the distortion, do I have another box? Here goes the box. What are the chances that I would wear, I have the box shirt and have, it's like I'm promote. am I doing a plug for like a, sh is this, is this? Is it a, I have the box and shameless plug? Can we, are there two stingers? Can we do two back to back? Heck yeah. We can do anything we want. We choose our destiny. This uh, distortion here, let's see. Wow, I, life's hard. Open it, there we go. Uh, high pass, low pass toggle. I'm gonna go low pass, so it's gonna be a thicker, warmer sound. Again, drive knob big. I kind of like this. I would have gone volume, but now I'm thinking maybe they've done it right. I don't know, $29. The delay is probably free at this point. I don't know how they do this. All right, here we go. Wait, um, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold on, hold on. What's up? Um, they have drum pedals. Like pedals for drums? Like, well, no, it's like drum loop pedals. Oh. So I was thinking maybe, do you think it'd be okay? Like if you record a loop into it? What is well, it? you can do both. You can record loops. Oh, it's an actual and, drum machine. Yeah, it's a drum machine, and you can also do loops in it so as yeah. well. But so do you think for this jam, I could take like a break? I guess, whatever. Okay, cool. We'll have to probably take some vacation minutes or something. Okay. I don't know. Awesome. Yeah, I'll do this, I guess. So you're gonna let a, the robot- I'm gonna drum. use this one. Robot drummer. Okay, well, see what happens here.
run a like a like a drum machine like a cheap drum machine through a clon? I did. Okay. Was that an arpanoid electroharmonics uh, arpanoid? It was. What made you think that was a good idea? Um, why wouldn't it be a good idea? Well, you know, they made like I heard I've heard these actually I remember that I heard them and they sound really good but you kind of destroyed how they sounded I just want to represent their hard work you know you used a clon and an arpanoid yeah yeah I guess we do what we want here huh again this sounds amazing at $29 that is literally a cup of coffee you know what I'm saying it's unbelievable where are you getting coffee you, you just buy coffee on the street wherever you're at it's $29 every time hey does anybody want coffee who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want? Just buy this instead. Say no to caffeine. Say yes to distortion. It's that easy. It's not hard. You guys, everybody just acts like this stuff's hard. It's not hard. Don't buy coffee. Next up, we are going to combine, I call it the big reverb again, because it's not the small one or tiny. Big, large, small, tiny. You get the idea. I'm going to use setting seven, which is a modulated verb. Uh, just like the delay that I absolutely love, this is the exact format. By the way, these are stereo as well. $79. Wild. Love this setting. I'll kick it on after the modulation that will have already been on. And I'm going to use a tremolo setting, basically like a hard helicopter-ish trim sound, and uh, kick this on. We'll just see what happens. Together, this is like... What is this? It's like, it's like the price of half of a normal pedal for both pedals. It's like three cups of coffee. Again, where are you getting coffee from? <laughs> A lot of judgment. I've already read the comments from the past. I have a time travel ability that I haven't really shared with people until now. And you're saying <laughs> he played every breath you take and like verbed it out. Well, you know, listen here, Mr. Mrs. Whatever. I wrote that. I've never heard every breath you take. I don't know who Sting is. And I honestly am super offended that you don't respect my artistic abilities, my songwriting talents, and my ability to pull riffs out of my butt. That is my riff. That is my progression. I stake claim on it. If you ever use that, I will come and find you. I'll hunt you down and I'll claim it as mine, just like you claimed it was Sting's in the comments. So get out of the comments and move on with your life. The Flama line has a couple cool things that emulate amps or cabinets. I don't have the cablet. The cablet? I don't have the cablet. I don't have the cabinet simulator, nor do I need it right now because I'm using my amp and cab, but I do have this preamp. Now this is cool, you have uh, the same format as the delay where you hit the mode and kind of the light goes across and you choose a number. So this pedal, corresponding numbers are on the side. Number one is a Fender Deluxe. Uh, number two is an AC30. Number three is Coral Reef. Not sure what that is. What amp is related to a Coral Reef? Jazz chords? It could be, I don't know. Plex 50 is a Plexi. Uh, Blue Eye 100. I don't know. You know, sometimes you don't need to know. You just need to know. Number six is MB 5th Gen. I'm not sure what that is either. And then number seven is a 5151. Maybe that's a reference to Van Halen's 5150. I don't know, nor do I care. I'm going to go to the number two, which is AC 31. AC30. I've played with this quite a bit and it's impressive for the price. It adds a different amp sound to your amp. So I always play these loud and clean Fender style amps. This is going to give it a bright punchy mid-range, a little bit of grit, 
It's honestly very convincing and shocking. Even I'm shocked, and I'm never shocked. I'm a boring person, I don't get excited, and right now I'm losing my mind. And then I'm gonna add to it the echo verb. I know I said this is my favorite. This is my favorite delay in this price range of all time. I can't believe I'm saying that, it's that good. This is an incredible dual delay. It's dual because it has delay and reverb. Now, you know that I love the Dispatch Master, okay? It's the first love of my life with combining delay and reverb. Then you have like the Keeley Caverns. This is incredible though. Stereo tap tempo, and it's like $97. I'm gonna play these, $97, that is four cups of coffee. Four, if you would just stop drinking coffee, you could have gear. People Where complain. Where are you buying coffee? You just, if you stop buying the coffee, you're gonna realize you get more gear. Less coffee, more gear. More gear, less coffee. Are you shopping on like godcoffee.com? comments let us know what your favorite jam was this combo is really cool i tend to play fenders like i said earlier i love that this gave me a different grittier sound to the jhs amp that's usually kind of fat and clean this just did a thing it did an ac30 kind of thing and again this that setting that i'm on is like a reverse echo underneath the verb I didn't use the tap tempo because I just locked it in with a knob. It's incredible. And I just want to say, this line is a perfect example of if it sounds good, it is good. I'm going to say it again. And we're going to put words on the screen. If it sounds good, it is good. I think there's a stinger for this, right? Yeah. If it sounds good, it is good. That's a stinger that really just got to the point. I don't really have much else to say. These reverbs, they're incredible. This delay, I've already said it 10 times, it's incredible. This mod, it's so cheap. If you want some weird mod sounds, this is perfect. Tiny reverb. This modulation, I barely touched the abilities of this. I don't think I did at all. I literally used a tremolo. Distortion, delay. We didn't even hear all these amps and this thing. Listen, these are basically the cost of coffee. If you will stop buying coffee, you'll have more gear. Let's go to record time. This week's record time is brought to you by one of my favorite records so far of 2021. It is Collections from the Whiteout by Ben Howard. Ben Howard's an artist that I think I've showed every record by him on record time. And every time he puts out a record, it'll probably end up on record time. He's just one of my favorite artists. Uh, this has Yusuf Days on drums, and he co-wrote a bunch of this. If you know who that is, congratulations. If you don't listen to this, then listen to more Ben Howard. Go listen to Yusuf Day's projects. He has a really good album with Tom Mish that we have had on record time, I believe. And yeah. I wanna sit and talk about what I like. I like everything on the record, so I'm not gonna bore you to tears. Check this out. Um, his first records are simple, very good songwriting, um, kind of clean, and he gets weirder and weirder and weirder, and I like him more and more and more. That's my comment on Ben Howard, so please check him out. Drop a line in the comments about this record.
Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you liked it. In the comments below, let me know what you think of this brand. Let me know what you think about the sounds that you heard. And overall, hit like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications of all future episodes. There are links in the description below for thejhsshow.com where you can buy merch and things. Like you might want a He Has the Box shirt just so people can ask you when you're in the grocery store line if you're psychotic. If you're that person, go buy the shirt. Also, there is the Patreon where you can help us archive pedal history with the trips and things that we do and the development of the tiny little documentaries that you've seen on the channel over the past years. So that's it for today. Also, there's BandLab. If you wanna jam with us, jam with us at BandLab. There's a link down there. Click it, you get all the stems, you get the drums, you get the guitars, you get everything. And then you become part of the band. It's kind of magical, honestly. It's technology. It's amazing. Bye-bye.